Well, friends, uh, this one's going to hurt a little bit. Hello and welcome back to The Haunt Line, the show dedicated to SoCal haunts and events. And well, uh, there's no denying it, we're going to start the episode with some bad news that I'm sure you've already heard, but that just means that we're going to get to some good news right after that. So last week, The Haunt World was abuzz about Horror Nights making an announcement. You'd see it everywhere. Oh, my sources say this week we're going to get an announcement, blah, 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 there's an announcement coming. And well, uh... We got an announcement. Halloween Horror Nights has officially been canceled on both coasts. Orlando's cancellation was honestly a bit of a surprise to me, especially considering that they had so much construction going on. The uh, the tribute store facade was going up. They held auditions. People were getting their roles. It did seem like Orlando was going to happen, but ultimately both coasts have been canceled. So obviously part of me is super bummed because Horror Nights has become a staple of my Halloween. I mean, I've been going there for almost 10 years in a row now. And, you know, I just recently got turned on to Horror Nights Orlando, been going there for two years. So obviously Horror Nights is a huge part of my Halloween celebration, but I get the cancellation. And honestly, I completely understand why they did what they did. Cases on both coasts are showing no signs of slowing down and Horror Nights involves a lot of people. Not only people on stage, but a ton of people behind the scenes. I'm talking people that do lighting, people that do sound, people that do makeup and costuming. So there's no way that we can guarantee their safety in this kind of environment. But you know, the bright side to this is that hopefully, hopefully next year, we're gonna get the full on Horror Nights that we all know and love with no restrictions, with no alterations, and hopefully with no worry of COVID-19. On the same day that Horror Nights announced the cancellation of the event, the OC Register announced the cancellation of Disneyland's Oogie Boogie Bash. Now, I did mention this in my last haunt update. Uh, After Orlando canceled their event, I knew I had a feeling that our event was gonna get canceled too. And well, here we are. And although it's sad to see it go again, I totally get it. Last year's event looked really fun. It looked like a great time and I was looking forward to checking it out this year. Uh, So I look forward to checking it out in 2021. So that means that thus far, Southern California has lost three haunt events due to the pandemic. That's Queen Mary, Dark Harbor, Halloween Horror Nights, and now Oogie Boogie Bash. And well, friends, uh, brace yourself, because although I don't want it to happen, I think Not Scary Farm is next. We know that the new mazes have not been worked on at all. We know that the theme park hasn't opened yet. And honestly, I can't see a world where Horror Nights is canceled and Not Scary Farm still happens. The events have a lot in common when it comes to characteristics, so it's likely not happening. But what's interesting is that there are two events still in limbo here in Southern California. First, there's LA Haunted Hayride, who not too long ago announced that they were having auditions. And you know what? Out of all of them, I think LA Haunted Hayride might actually work out the best. Now, I'm no expert, but the Hayride itself already distances performers from guests and it's all outdoors, which lowers the risk of transmission significantly. Mazes will definitely have to be reworked, but they could also become walkthroughs without physical performers or with performers at a distance. I'm gonna use Not Scary Farms Paranormal Inc. as an example. A lot of the scares in that maze involve projections, scrims, and air cannons. So you know what, throw those into a maze and call it a day. Next, there's Six Flags, Magic Mountain, and Fright Fest, who recently released a very interesting survey. The survey was all about Fright Fest, and according to the survey, Six Flags, Magic Mountain is in fact working on a 2020 Halloween event. 
They ask you things like, if you were considering visiting Fright Fest under these circumstances, which four of the following would you most likely want us to focus on? Uh, they list things in the survey like, all the Halloween activities are outdoors, scare actors never get closer than 12 feet, everyone around you has been recently COVID-19 tested, which, ha, good luck, and plexiglass barriers between you and scare actors. The most interesting question on the survey, though, comes right at the end, where they ask, if we were to re-characterize our Halloween to include other elements, which would you want to see us include in a Halloween event? Options include haunted houses with no scare actors, just terrifying things to see, which honestly, I wouldn't be mad at. It would be cool to be able to walk through mazes still, but maybe not have any actors in there and just have it be a spooky environment. A haunted hayride through the park, which, what? <laughs> Look, if you've been to Six Flags Magic Mountain, you know that there's a ton of hills, a ton of uneven terrain all over the park. I mean, they would have to find the one spot that's completely flat uh, to have a hayride effectively, but that might be interesting. Or they could have a hayride in the parking lot because Lord knows they have enough room to throw something in one of their parking lots. Another option is a zombie line dancing contest, a cockroach eating contest, Lucha Libre, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is it a Halloween themed Lucha Libre show, I guess? The, the, odd, but okay. And finally, a drive through haunted theme park scary experience. So who knows what exactly they're trying to cook up for us out there at Six Flags, but uh, we'll definitely keep you posted. Either way, I sincerely hope that anybody that decides to throw a Halloween event right now does so with safety as the priority. And that includes home haunts. And hang in there, friends. Uh, next year, we're gonna have a lot to make up for in 2021. We're gonna have to throw all the parties all the Halloween events to make up for everything that we lose this year. And hopefully by 2021, everything will be drastically different and we'll actually be able to enjoy ourselves safely. And well, that's going to do it for us here on the Haunt Line and our fourth Haunt update. We're going to keep going. Uh, there's still stuff to talk about. We're going to keep making videos. We're going to keep updating you on the Haunt season. Don't forget, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Haunt Line. You can visit us on the web, www.thehauntline.com. And you can check out our podcast wherever you download your podcasts. And until the next time, stay safe and thank you for calling The Haunt Line.